What's up, Soul Family? Coming through, and I'm bringing y'all one of my favorite recipes right now. And I'm talking about that sizzling, ooey, gooey, cheesy chicken skillet. Mmm! Ooh, that's a whole mouthful. I almost messed that up. Try to say that five times fast, all right? But we're going to slide right on into this quick and easy recipe that is packed full of flavor. I promise y'all going to thank me later. So we're going to start with the thing that takes us the longest, which is our garlic mash. Now, I believe a red potato is the best one to use, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Go ahead and get them chopped up. I like to make smaller pieces because it helps it to cook quicker. And when I'm ready to eat, ain't nobody trying to wait for no damn potatoes to cook, all right? So get them sliced up, rinse them off, throw them in a pot of water over medium-high heat, and let them cook until they are soft all the way through. Next, y'all, grab you some peppers, and you can use whichever ones you like. I like them all. They all created equal to me. So I'm using yellow, red, and green, plus some purple onions, and we're going to thinly slice them, but not too thin. Sautéed peppers can turn into a mushy mess real fast, so maybe about a half inch thick. So if y'all ain't learned nothing else from my channel, you know I love me some cheese. So you know we're going to my favorite part next. And we just gonna toss in some sharp cheddar and Monterey Jack. We're using eight ounces of each into this food processor because uh, <laughs> who grating cheese by hand? Not me. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm grating cheese. You got a second. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Oh, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my videos. Ooh, this cheese looks so good, y'all. Don't you eat none of it. Put it in the refrigerator until we're ready for it so it stays cold. But let's get on to seasoning our chicken. So, y'all, to season this chicken, we're just going to use my staples. I'm using Cajun, and you can use Creole or Blackened, whichever you have on hand. Onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, salt, and that old good-for-nothing seasoning paprika. But it make you cute, though. And, y'all, did y'all see my salt shaker? <laughs> it's electric and it glow. Ooh. You can find it on Amazon. I'll put the link in my bio. And then I did toss it with a little bit of oil just so that it stays completely lubricated when we put it in that cast iron skillet. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm using chicken thighs and they're boneless and skinless because uh, you can cook chicken thighs for three days, they still gonna be juicy, okay? <laughs> but we're gonna cook them about three to four minutes on each side. We want a real nice color. But we're gonna go ahead and pull our potatoes off and get them drained. We're gonna toss in about five tablespoons of butter, about a half a cup of milk, and we're gonna mash them away and season them with some garlic salt, garlic powder, salt, and some fresh parsley, and these bad boys good to go. Now, y'all, it's just one more step before we get to the magic, and that is sauteing our onions and our peppers. So go ahead and use your skillet over medium-high heat with a little bit of oil, and I season every step. So just toss it with a little bit of salt, and we're going to cook them probably about three to four minutes because, again, we don't want them too mushy. We still want a little bit of bite. Go ahead and slice your chicken, and then, y'all, here it comes. Oh, <laughs> Y'all see that? Y'all see the way that cheese is melting and bubbling up? Oh, it's like it was speaking to my heart, y'all. And y'all, you can stack it however you like, but we are done. But don't forget, it ain't going May if it ain't got no parsley, all right? <laughs> but look, y'all. Oh, it look good. We did good. And I promise you're going to love every bite. As always, thank y'all for watching. And remember, success is your birthright. And I want you to go out there and get it.